All right, let's do example number five. Potato consumption. So from 1970 to 1980, the rate of potato consumption was given as a function of time, two point, and that was equal to 2.2 plus 1.1 raised to the t in millions a bushel per year. Did they abbreviate that at all? No, they do not. Now I'm writing all this down because we might need to cancel some stuff. Okay. Um, and so T zero. So in nineteen, according to the book, in nineteen seventy, T equals zero. So we're really saying from zero to what? Ten. Okay. And then it says, um, how many bushels were consumed at the beginning of 1972 to the end of 1973? So let me reread it. I took a bunch of notes. Let me reread it all the way through. Remember, calculus is the, uh, is the study of the rate of change. The rate of change always represents a derivative. Okay, does that make sense? So let me read this again. You tell me what I'm saying. From 1970 to 1980, the rate of potato consumption in a particular country was C of T is equal to 2.2 plus 1.1 raised to the T millions of bushels per year, with T being years since the beginning of 1970. How many bushels were consumed from 1972 to 1973? So, 1972 is 2. What's the end of 1973? T equals 3 or T equals 4? T equals 4. Now, I'm going to think about this conceptually and then we're going to use some calculus to solve this, okay? So we're interested from T equals 2 to T equals 4. Another way to think about it is like this. And we said that this represents the rate of consumption. This right here represents the rate of consumption. But now they're asking us, asking us how much was consumed. What do I need to do to this function? What does this function represent? The rate of change. A rate of change, which means it's a derivative of. So if I say rate of consumption, this is the derivative of what? Consumption. Of consumption. So to evaluate the consumption mathematically, I'm going to say aren't I? Isn't that what I'm going to do? Does that make sense? So now to do that, I'm going to evaluate from 2 to 4 this 2.2 plus 1.1 1 .1 raised to the t dt. That is the set. Now, we should know how to get the antiderivative of this 1.1 raised to the t, right? It's a little complicated. We've got we to gotta make some changes and stuff like that, memorize some things. But can I get the number for this real quick? And how? I can graph it, or what's another way? Yeah, I just got to plug it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, hit math, <coughs> option number 9. My function was 2.2 plus 1.1 raised to the x, comma. We're integrating over x. What was my lower limit? 2. What was my upper limit? 4. Well, bam, with the bacon sizzle, what does that tell you? 7. Zero, six, six bushels. Yeah. So now, you know, now we gotta we gotta do this this uh, conversion thing here. This will be it's easier now the second time around. So we got seven point. What was that number again? Seven point zero six six. Seven point zero six six. 
six. What is the two and the four representing? Years. years. So this is years, this is years. We started off with uh, millions, millions of um, mills times bushels per year, and then we have what? Times years. Does that work out? Yes. Is that the correct answer? Yeah. Pretty decent, huh? Yeah, bless you. Sneezing while I'm trying to record my video. Uh, we're ready to do example number six, so that way you guys can do all of your homework. Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. Yes. Um, so if the question says the end of a year, then you tack on one. If it says the beginning, you just... Yeah, that's a great question. So how do we know to go from two to four? Think of it like this, okay? If I were to graph this thing, and I would say 2.2 .2 plus 1.1 raised to the x, and I graph it. This blue line represents the rate of consumption that is slowly increasing as time increases. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna change it because we said that we're going from zero to 10. All right, so this point right here is when t equals one. So this is like 1970, 1971, 1972, 1973, 1974, and so on and so forth. What we wanted to know was how much consumption was done from 1972 and 1973. Well, if I take the area under the curve, if I hit second calc and I go seven and I have a lower limit of two and I do an upper limit of three, guess what it does? It only does the year of 1972. That area under the curve represents how many potatoes were consumed. But if you look at, does it make more sense? That's only for the year of 1972. But now if I go back and I calculate from, uh, we're gonna go from two to four, um, you'll see that it covers both full years of 1972 all the way up until 1974. Does that make sense? Good questions, great questions. All right, let's uh, 